Here are three trends in equine nutrition that are happening right now. My name is Steve Cook. We have four locations in the Oklahoma City metro, uh, mostly focused on equine feed. This isn't based on any scientific research. This is just what we are seeing right now. Number one is top line. People are obsessed with their horse's top line. I think it's for two reasons. One is because it's something that you can easily see. And two, it's because I don't think everyone thinks about it being a lot of it is controlled by genetics, exercise, nutrition. There's a lot of components to the horse's top line. So you're seeing it a lot with uh, manufacturers. There's some manufacturers like Neutrina that have two products that are called top line balancer top line advantage. So uh, companies are catching on to this and a lot of companies are making products specific for it. But I still think the craze is there with the customers, uh, with with equine, with people that own horses. Uh, they're still asking questions about it. How do I improve my horse's top line? And there's still a lot of uh, uneducation around the topic. The second trend in equine nutrition right now, I think where manufacturers are ahead of a lot of consumers is ulcers. There are going to be a incredible amount, incredible amount of problems that come from the horse's uh, behavior, from the horse's look, from the horse's insides that happen as a result of ulcers. There's only been a few products on the market for a long time, but now manufacturers like Purina are putting an ulcer preventative in every one of their premium feeds. And so I feel like a lot of manufacturers are ahead of this. Maybe the consumer isn't quite as concerned with ulcers as they could be, but that is the second trend. The number three thing, I feel like it was very common, very popular in the western part of the United States, in California, Arizona area, but alfalfa seems like it is gaining steam in the Midwest. Alfalfa is becoming more accepted. Uh, it's becoming more uh, the predominant forage, if not uh, people's only forage for their horse uh, and is gaining a lot of traction in the Midwest. So I would say that alfalfa is the third trend that we're seeing grow like crazy. Um, as far as I am concerned, we are selling a lot more alfalfa than we ever have in comparison to grass hay.